Welcome back to Intrusive Investigations. I'm your host, Rubik's Cube. On today's episode of The Intruder, Chabigail, the power couple of the generation. Look at that height difference. Makes me sick. Today I am here to prove that Billy Flynn's Chad and Marcy Miller's Abigail do not belong together. For those of you who aren't familiar, Chabigail is the ship name for Chad Demera and Abigail Devereaux, who are a popular romantic couple on Days of Our Lives. Oh, and I'll put up the definition for ship name, in case you didn't know. Apparently a lot of people seem to like Chabigail, and that's completely understandable. I totally respect your wrong opinion. Abigail is the absolute worst, and Chad deserves so much better than her. Hashtag Chad deserves better. And how do I know that Chad deserves better? Context clues, people. For a year, all the time, it's been, You're the worst husband. Quit grabbing my arms. I hate my sister. I'm going to Boston. Which begs the question, why? There are many reasons why things are turning out so hellish for Chabigail. Number one, poor writing. If there's anyone who can ruin a favorite power couple in a matter of minutes, it's Ron Carlovati. Number two, Gwen. I don't blame Gwen at all. I love a good revenge-motivated character. But we can't ignore that she is kind of the cause of the situation. Number three, this Abigail is not the real Abigail. This is my favorite reason, because it's the real one. The reason Chabigail is so awful right now is because Kate Mancy, the real Abigail, has left us for better things. So, I have given up on Chabigail, because it's terrible, and I'm sick and tired of it. Let's just look at their history, okay? It starts off with flirting, which is fine, and then Kate hates Abigail, and we're already at breakup number one. See that? That should scare you. Then they try different people, but those relationships are somehow more dysfunctional than their relationship together. Then it's makeup number one. Two breakups later, we've moved into the purple where Abigail tries EJ. Why does she break it off with EJ? So much potential. Then she tries Ben, who takes her to the cabin, hashtag original cabin girl, and has a midwife deliver her baby. Then Ben murders said midwife, aka Wendy, causing years of problems for his future love interests. Hashtag butterfly effect. Hashtag RIP Wendy. Two breakups later, Chad tries Gabby while Abigail tries Gabby's brother. Another breakup brings us into the blue, where Abigail tries Gabby's brother again. Then Abigail's alter ego emerges, causing the Gabby, air quotes, debacle. Then Abigail has another kid with Chad, and then they make up and leave Salem. The couple returns to Salem. Chad tries Gwen, causing another breakup. Then Abigail tries Boston, the town in Massachusetts, not a man. Resulting in the most recent makeup, which happened this week. Listen, I hate to tell this to all you Chabigail lovers out there, but it's just the hard truth. Chabigail aren't together because they're supposed to be. They're together because they've been living in the same town as each other for their entire lives and have had feelings for each other once. They're not compatible, they fight and break up all the time, only to get back together after a year apart, max. Chad and Abigail need to see other people. Before we go off the air today, I'd like to pay my respects to another dead relationship. Philip and Chloe sadly broke up this week after Philip's healthy jealousy of Brady got the best of him. Rest in peace, Chloe. We pay our respects to you with the traditional ten-bell salute. This has been Intrusive Investigations. Stay suspicious and see you next time.